see our eighth year now. St. Brandon's has hosted a St. Baldwin's head shaving event to raise money for childhood uh, cancer research. And, uh, in New York in 2001, the event began with uh, three Irish Americans who wanted to get food done quite well, wanted to get something back. And they decided that they would shake their heads in an attempt to raise $17,000 on the 17th of March. They raised $210,000. And so, in so was part of the St. Baldwin's Foundation, which last year raised $22 million. So, we're very proud to be part of it. Uh, and we're very, very grateful that Pat Murphy and Pete Purvis and Jack Storm have come on board with us. This is my third year doing it, but uh, I think it's more impressive that the bagpiper, Pete Purvis, it was his first time doing it. Uh, I asked him if he would do it, and he was like, eh. So we, we put a bet. Uh, he's a Steelers fan. I'm a Green Bay fan. So we had a quick little bet saying uh, if the Packers win, he has to shave his head. And of course, that happened. Looking back, you know, you're kind of, you don't, I mean, you definitely don't want to do it, but, uh, you know, if anybody's going to pay $15,000 for uh, for our hair, or actually more than that, I think we made about seventeen, dollars uh, you know, for to raise money for children's cancer. I don't know how you could say no. So we've been uh, trying to raise money for it over the past couple of weeks, uh, I think about four weeks, and all over the country we uh, just pass buckets around at each show and people have been fantastic all over the uh, from Iowa, St. Louis, up to Buffalo, New York, and Minnesota, and uh, a couple of shows in Green Bay, or sorry, Wisconsin. And uh, we raised $14,000 in, in 15 shows just by asking everybody to put a dollar here, a dollar there, friends and family emailing. So it's just been fantastic. So I think by the end of the night, uh, when more uh, donations come in, we should hopefully hit around uh, seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars. And I, I love it. I think it's a fantastic organisation. It doesn't. There's no political involvement in it. There's no uh, religious involvement in it. It's just people doing. It's a, it's a feel-good story with all the bad news in the world today. It's just nice to do something good that helps people. Last year, our event raised a total of ninety-six thousand dollars. As of, uh, I should qualify this because last year when I stood here and said how much we had before the event, which will be Saturday at St. Brennan's, we had $31,000 raised. We just broke $70,000. St. Baldwin's has 700 events worldwide, 650 here in the U.S. this year. And this year they have five ambassador children nationwide. Ayana from Fond du Lac was diagnosed with a Wilms tumor at age two. She went through extensive chemotherapy, had her right kidney removed. And I'm very happy to say that at six years old, She's here tonight. Please welcome my hand. Right-handed or left-handed? Oh, 
Okay, come here. Okay. Come right here. All right. Now see right here? Right there? You just go like this. Just like that. Okay? All right, here we go. Hang on. You know, that little girl that walked off the stage tonight, uh, Iana, she is just, you know, uh, my mother had cancer, my um, uh, my aunt died of breast cancer, my uncle died of cancer, and uh, but at least they were, you know, in their 60s and early 70s, and they lived their life, they had children, they travelled, and it's just heartbreaking to see a, a young child get cancer. So when I met Barry a couple of years ago uh, here at St. Brendan's, and he told me what they were doing, I was like, hey, I'll do that. It's just a great organisation to help. You can help children in any way in this way. It's just a fantastic organisation. It's definitely uh, a pull the, the heartstrings seeing your girl up there that, uh, you know, we've gone through everything at the at the age of six, and uh, I was a little I was a little worried when she came over because I got really thick hair, and she just had the clipper, and I was she kind of scared me a bit. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, it was it was it was fantastic, and like you said, everybody's been touched uh, uh, by cancer. Uh, I had an aunt uh, just recently who had, had breast cancer. Everybody everybody everywhere is is touched by cancer, so it's it feels great to uh, just actually contribute somehow to finding a cure and helping out children. In recognition of uh, what these two guys did, the Packers fan and the Steelers fan, I want to give them something. What'd you get there? Oh, I like it. So for Pat Murphy, the Packers fan, I have Super Bowl 45 Green Bay Packers champion. Super Bowl. This is great to raise money. Uh, a bunch of my buddies uh, at home, I uh, play in a pipe band, obviously bagpiper, and a bunch of my buddies are cops, and they're, uh, they all shave their heads every year, and I just think it's great that people get behind it and just do it. So here we go, the total is $16,104. We actually asked an audience, I think it was in St. Louis, I said, just hands up if you know somebody who has cancer or who has died of cancer, and literally every single person in the audience put their hand up. So this disease has, uh, it, I think it has pretty much affected pretty much everybody. So if we can just contribute a small bit locally here, and again with all the different cities around the, uh, that have helped us out, because it has affected every, it has, it's affected everywhere in the country. So, just, and what we asked the audience to do every night was, if you just, if there's, let's say there's 900 people in the audience, like if you give one dollar, so the one dollar doesn't really do much, but the 900 does, and then when you multiply that times 15, times 20, it turns into oh, a lot of money to help, to help children, but to also help the families that have the huge. Um, uh, medical bills, and it's just a feel good, it's a, it's a win win situation for everybody, and it doesn't cost anything to do it. It doesn't cost anything to do it, which is great. It's just like it's a good, feel good, win win situation for everybody.